The Los Angeles Coliseum, a place Traveler calls home and the crowd loves to fight on when supporting the USC Trojans. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see the number eight team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Notre Dame looking for a strong kick to get this one underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Trojans' offense will take the first swing of the game. So much history and pageantry in this rivalry, guys, but the trophy, the jewel shillelagh, is a little bit under the radar. It is. It's beautiful to look at, but I think people are always just focused on these two blue blood programs. Notre Dame, USC. This is interconference, national championship, and Heisman implications. Seemingly always on the line late in the year when these two teams play. Always so cool. Coast to coast. Something matters. Something on the line. You're right. This game is always fun to watch. The jeweled shillelagh. It's a draw. Nice move to keep running. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the legendary John McKay would be proud of the execution of the running game picking up the first down. The basic principles of the run game, right? The easy stuff, the boring stuff. Not fancy, not, uh, not loved. Everybody likes points and all that other you know, stuff that goes with it. But you got to get the good running game. USC doing a good job early. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's knocked down the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. It's a draw. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. This rivalry nearly 100 years old now, guys, dating back to when Newt Rockney had made the Irish a power and Howard Jones had done the same for the Trojans. So many names, and then if you go recent, I mean, everybody remembers the Bush push and just so many great games in this matchup. Every year it seems like the game means a lot. And obviously, Palmer, you had a trophy. It just gets away. It's like the greatest players to ever do it. I mean, Joe Montana for Notre Dame, Marcus Allen, his Heisman Trophy with the Trojans. And you're right. We could go on and on and on. And it always seems like those guys play their best games in this rivalry class. Number 16. The Trojans send out the punt unit. And nobody able to field that punt as it rolls out of bounds. So Notre Dame's offense will get the ball for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there, but all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Fires to the big fella. 
And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. You've got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there, so really nice tactic by the defense. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Cross-country rivalry between these old foes. It started because Newt Rockney's wife wanted to go to California late in the season, and the next chapter unfolds today. That sounds perfect. If my wife wanted to do the same thing I would do. Happy wife, happy life. It's always interesting to hear how these rivalry trophies come about, but I know one thing. USC, Notre Dame, every year Palmer is appointment television. It is. My brother Billy played for Notre Dame, and I'll be honest, I used to get jealous watching him play against the Trojans, whether it was at Coliseum or whether it was at Notre Dame. This is one of the best rivalries in all of college football, and one that I wish I could have been a part of. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. Wants to throw. It's Moss. He's got his man. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Caught in the backfield, it's Copeland. And that will go backwards, a negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical, they're too fast, and they force the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. And he missed it. No good. After the miss, no change in the score. Here come the Irish, back on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the air, it's Leonard. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. 
This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. On the return, it's Branch working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. They'll run it from the gun. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Ripping through the defense. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws to the wideout. He makes the catch. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Her route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on it, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll try it again. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. With the catch, it's Jordan. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. It's good. And that took a little longer than expected, but we finally have scoring. It's 3-0. able to get a field goal on the board and now they'll kick it away on the run from inside his own five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving last time David it was one two three kick the last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Right back to the well. 
Solid run. Picks up six and gets it to the 28. There have been many memorable games in this rivalry. It was memorable for Notre Dame last year. Not so much for SC as the Trojans got blown out. No, and Notre Dame is a team that we've seen in the playoff in, in recent years, and they want to get there consistently. To do that, they've got to win rivalry games like this. You're going to play a big-time opponent like USC with all of that talent and that coaching staff. You're going to have to play at a very high level. Last year, David, they put the stomp down on the Trojans. They did. They used that big shillelagh and laid the hammer and took care of business. And you've seen Notre Dame, you know, have these years now where they've had really good seasons, but we want to see them build on it and do multiple good seasons in a row. That means beating your rival, beating USC consistently. Let's see what the Irish have today. The back goes in motion. A quick pass on the fly motion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And great recognition by the corner. That touch pass after he throws at the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understanding that. Flying up, coming and making a big tackle in the open field. Let's see what they've got on second down. They think there's room to run to the right here. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. to pick up a first down. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Going to take a shot. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. But the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affected the football game. The Irish send out the punt unit. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan. I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. The Trojans will line it up on first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone, setting up the screen. Able to scrounge three yards out of that and somehow it's second and seven. And those screen plays, you really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going, but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. Timeout. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Now on second down. To the air, it's Moss. Feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And here's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open. Throw it out of bounds. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. From the gun, wants to pass. Throwing right. Touchdown, Trojans! And they made it 
to the house when he found that six points waiting on him. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here come the Irish back on offense. They'll throw it on first down. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. To the air, it's Leonard. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he wants it all. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it in. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. He gets a block. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He'll try it again on second and ten. This time he's got it. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it, be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And there will be no return on this one, and he can't get it out of bounds. The ball will come out to the 20. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. 
With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between USC and Notre Dame plays out. The Trojans will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. And he gets it out past the sticks, and Notre Dame will have a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Evans. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Notre Dame lines up quickly. To the air. It's Leonard. And it's picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And on the opening drive of the second half, you've made adjustments, but sometimes you underestimate the fact that the defense is ready for your adjustments. And they've made their own adjustments as well. They're allowed to sit there in the locker room and think and wonder about how you're going to attack them coming out of the tunnel. Great job being ready to go at the start of the second half by the defense. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Linebacker shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Makes the grab. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. So, Jesse, they're able to connect on the crossing route against the zone. You run that pattern against that coverage. What do you have to keep in mind? Well, the receiver needs to know where the soft spot is in the defense so he can gear himself down. And the quarterback, Reese, has to play with great timing. Because if he's too early or too late on the throw, that might get picked. And the Trojans have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, USC! Traveler in the entire Trojan nation starting to feel their oats as SC has built a lead in this one. I'm impressed, too, with the Trojans in this one. They've got a lot of competition in conference week in, week out. You don't get a break when you go out of conference to play Notre Dame, but mentally, they've had a lot left in the tank. They are dominating Notre Dame here. Man, it's so fun to watch you after your great uniforms, great football. This matchup with Jules Shalaley every single year is always fun to watch. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here come the Irish, back on offense. 
after giving up that score. Now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting him to get a lot of stops, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Man, I, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. Fires to the big fella. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Quickly to the tight end. Tackled immediately after the catch. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later. But take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They're going to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Game seven. First down for the offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Finds a man on the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. He's starting to get in touch with his inner Joe Montana as the Irish are moving the ball up top. And I think that's always the question with the Irish every year is who's going to play quarterback? We know their brand and we know who they are, but are they going to get ballers at that position? Are they going to get a great Ian Book, a great Brady Quinn? That's the next step. And if they find that guy, Notre Dame can do everything they want to do and be great in college football. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. To the air on first down. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another team look like that in the rest of this game. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. He's not afraid to go deep. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. The offense obviously trailing here in the second half. They're going to have to be able to throw the football effectively to come back in this game. But in order for that to happen, they have got to do a better job up front. Block. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. Off play action. Fires toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Kick this 
And he's going to bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a player. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't get on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Used the play fake, now to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Second down after that incompletion. They'll run it to the right side. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Things working pretty well for this defense out of a dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Yeah, get off the rock, understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line rushing after that guy and getting him on the ground. The Trojans will call on their punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He's got it. Makes the tackle really strong, disciplined job. And now we have one period to play. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. He'll start this drive firing. Throws for the tight end. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. After the misfire, it's second and 10. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Zings it complete to the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rate, some revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him throw these curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. They'll leave it with him. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Off the play fake. Using his legs, keeping his eyes down feet. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. Stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Moving out to the right. 
And the defense making the short tackle just short of the first down marker. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay in nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football, the running quarterback. And you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field when the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. Splits the uprights from 56, and he's got three on the board. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Coming out with it, it's Branch. And stampeding through the defense. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They go to the ground. Nifty run there. Pick up a six out to the 25. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. So they're facing third and short from the 25. On the run, it's Moss. Got his man quickly. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Trojans have it with a first and 10. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Leaves it with the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. They not only have to deal with this defense, but the noise from this crowd on third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. I think in this situation after that incompletion, fourth and short on your side of the field, the smart play is to punt it away and trust your defense. The Trojans will punt this one away. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on his drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. This offense has a second down play. 
Back to throw. It's Leonard. Gets it out quickly. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his target down the middle. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Got him downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle, it's Evans. He's brought down, solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. The play action fake. Now he's going to break the pocket. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. You gotta keep drives alive late in the game. When you start to get in the fourth quarter and it's a one-score game, you gotta do whatever you can as that quarterback to scramble around, get extra plays, extra first downs. Really nice job there by the QB. And this is the chance for this offense. A first and goal, fourth quarter, trying to tie the game up. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Dropping back, it's Leonard. And he will score! Touchdown, Irish! Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. This is supposed to be the easiest play in football, except when there's this much pressure. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Looking for room. It's O'Neal. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Second down coming up. Just feeds the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? 
All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, and, and the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Part of the backfield, it's Jordan. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give from the gun. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with the pickup of four. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Dropping back, it's Moss. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Absolutely perfect. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. Comes out throwing on first down. He got it in, and the celebration is on. A walk-off touchdown in OT. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Going with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field, and getting the big touchdown.